In 1968, Olaf Sut designed the new rear stage wagon and turntable for the Metropolitan Opera in New York, which is still in operation today. Now, more than 40 years later, it was time to replace the aging side stage wagons for the present day opera productions. The new side stage wagon system designed by Sut consists of left and right wagon groups. Five individual eight feet by 60 feet wagons form the stage left and six are used at the stage right. During construction, the stage wagons were assembled on the shop floor that matched the interfacing requirements of the Metropolitan Opera stage. Here the wagons are shown with their floor panels removed which is a feature that provides access to all wagon components for maintenance. The mechanical units are also modular. The drive wheel assemblies, for example, can be quickly removed and replaced if required. The same applies to all other components. The operation of the wagons is remotely controlled from the operator's control console, where a touchscreen display and all the information required and provided the necessary programming inputs. In addition to the automated functions, manual override controls are also provided for the wagons and the turntable. Each stage wagon group, stage right and stage left, has two drive wagons. The remaining wagons are slaves. The wagons in each group can be latched together by remote controls to operate as one or in various configurations. Here, a drive wagon is unlatched from the adjacent slave to move independently. Each drive wagon is driven by two vector motors, connected to all the drive wagon wheels through shafting and individual gear reducers. This arrangement provides precision positioning. The wagon structures are also articulated so that all the drive wheels would make proper contact with the stage floor for developing maximum traction. Upon reaching its destination, this drive wagon latches to two slaves. Now all move together. The individual wagons can be latched and linked together in many combinations, or all 11 can travel in a single 120 foot by 40 foot unit. A collision protection system is also provided. The wagons were subjected to vigorous shop testing. Each was driven with 40,000 pounds of weight on its floor. The test proved that one drive wagon could safely move three slaves when loaded with a total of 160,000 pounds of weight. The controls are arranged around a touchscreen monitor, which is used for selection of specific wagons and their operational functions. In addition, the maintenance screens can be selected which display functional data for the wagon components including the conditions of interlocks and faults, if any. The wagons can be operated in preset mode, manual mode, and queue mode. There is also an emergency manual mode which permits operations of the wagons if a PC and or BLC fail. Dedicated control stations for preset and manual modes are located on both sides of the touchscreen. One is provided for each drive wagon and turntable, aligned approximately with the wagon graphics on the touchscreen which it controls. The emergency manual control station is separate from the normal operation controls and can be used to operate the wagons in emergency manual mode. After installation, testing of the wagons continued on the MET stage. The accuracy of wagon placement was confirmed to be within one eighth inch of its preset position. Likewise, it was confirmed that the collision avoidance system stopped the wagons within one eighth inch from the other object. This project also included upgrading the drives and controls for the existing rear stage wagon and turntable and coordinating their operation with the new side stage wagons. The benefits of the module stage wagon design became obvious 
when these wagons had to carry a mechanized set for Wagner's ring that weighed more than 90,000 pounds. It was possible to remove the existing wheel assemblies at the ring, set, support points, and temporarily replace them with bigger, higher capacity units. These large wheels could easily be replaced again with the regular wheel assemblies as required for other performances. If the past is any indication, then the new wagons and renovated existing rear wagon with turntable will serve the Met for many years to come.